Welcome live and direct from my new study here in the Parsonage, and it's great to be back. Let's start with a shout out to all the folks that uh, did so much to get the, the Parsonage ready for us, like there was painting and uh, a new shower put in upstairs and new appliances and, uh, and uh, building and grounds just did a fantastic job. Thank you, Lisa, and that whole team. I won't you know, try to name everybody because there's there were so many, but uh, um, you've really made us feel at home and welcome. And uh, it's really good to be back in Victoria. And thanks for the beautiful weather. <laughs> it's just been great these past couple of weeks. Now, we've been doing Old Testament these past uh, couple of months, you've noticed, because we're following the lectionary. And uh, just in recent days, we've done a lot from the Abraham cycle. So you remember um, the message about Sarah and Hagar cast out the slave woman with her son. We did the sacrifice of Isaac. Uh, Calvin did that. Jacob's ladder, with Gary last week, a great message. Thank you, Gary. And this week, Jacob finds his wife, Rachel, and it's a wonderful story. And uh, so I'm going to be talking about that this Sunday. And um, it's really good to be back, back in the pulpit with you. Uh, looking forward, we're going to be uh, staying with the lectionary, of course, uh, as we have since last October. I'm going to go to a new rotation where we're going to uh, we're going to go alternate between Old Testament passage one week and New Testament the next. And you find that in those Old Testament passages, we'll be covering major themes of the Old Testament. And over three years, you'll go right from this uh, early material in Genesis uh, through year two and year three, we're into the major prophets. So over a course of three years, we're going to cover all the major themes in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, we're in year A, so we're doing Matthew. In uh, Advent comes cometh on November 29th, and then we'll move to Mark. And then the following year, we'll be back in Luke. You remember when I first came to be with you last October, I was preaching from Luke because that was year C. So on this plan, over the course of the three-year rotation of the lectionary, we're covering a wide, uh, a comprehensive range of topics from the Old Testament, all the major themes, and the New Testament, we're going Matthew, Mark, Luke, with John interspersed, and of course, other readings from the New Testament. So the exciting thing about this is that we are taking our, our discipleship path from the very story of the Bible. I'm not coming to it and thinking, oh, what should I talk about this week, which can be really good. But we're trying to take our agenda from the Bible and then, and then in a very sort of intentional way, work our way through the major themes, of the Old Testament, and in the New Testament, we'll be doing miracles, parables, the events of Jesus' lives, all keyed to the church calendar, the annual church calendar. So that's that's kind of the program coming up. I'm going to be preaching three times a week when there's four Sundays in a week. And uh, 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 four times a month, I should say, when there's five Sundays in a month. And... Uh, Calvin will be preaching twice in a quarter and Sylvia once in a quarter. So there'll be a bit of a rotation there and really looking forward to their contribution and how we're going to, we're all going to stay on this path of uh, learning that uh, the lectionary presents to us. The exciting thing about that is that um, each of us has the ability to move around in the passages that are assigned each week. You'll notice that. And so there is freedom for us to move around in the spirit and to listen to the voice of what the Lord is doing. But I've just found it a, a, a wonderful experience, and I, I hope you have too since October. We just find the Lord speaking to us from the passages from the week. Right? We're kind of taking our spiritual direction from the passages for the week. So it, it puts the Bible and uh, message more central, and we're following it not it following us. So I think it's a great plan. The Lord has really blessed us uh, since we've been on this path. So let's keep going. We can adjust. We can add special series if we want. We can do anything we want. We might occasionally uh, diverge from the lectionary, but that is what I am hoping to do. And um, I think you should look forward in the next week or two to hear, begin to hear some results about the, the survey that we did on our pandemic approach 
and some things that the, the lead team and the staff and the board are all considering about our direction and the, and the various protocols we have to follow to keep everybody safe. Bit of an uptick, uptick uh, last few days in the uh, cases on the island. So we're going to be very careful, keep everyone's health and well-being foremost in our hearts at all times. And uh, so you be safe and uh, enjoy your week. Get out to get out and uh, engage in one of the many small groups that are uh, ongoing or beginning in August. And uh, if you're not aware of it and you're hungering for human connection, visit the website, check out the uh, list of uh, opportunities there. And it's really great to see groups meeting outside on the church property this week. There's been two so far this week. So. God bless you. Uh, have a great week and we'll see you in worship on Sunday.